Disability History, Panel 2, 787 A.D. through 1601. Social Values, Fear and Obsession with God, Belief that People with Disabilities Get What They Deserve. Religion has played an important role in providing basic services and shaping attitudes toward people with disabilities. Medical Viewpoint Having leprosy meant living a life outside of society. When traveling through a town, people with leprosy were required to ring a bell, alerting others to their presence. Connection to different time in history. When leprosy disappeared after the Crusades, 1100 to 1300, the remaining colonies, the leprosaria, were converted to other uses, resembling our present-day institution. These establishments were soon filled with all types of persons considered deviant, orphans, vagabonds, madmen, incurables, prostitutes, widows, and criminals. These cities of the damned numbered in the thousands and had the power of authority, direction, administration, commerce, police, jurisdiction, correction, and punishments, and had their disposal stakes, irons, prisons, and dungeons. By 1657, France had one such facility, the Pacitri, that housed 1,615. Its sister institution, the Salpetriere, housed 1,416 women and children. The United States has operated only slightly less gruesome institutions as recently as the 1970s. Moral Viewpoint In the United States, large, dehumanizing institutions for people with developmental disabilities reached their peak in the 1970s. This picture would not be an uncommon sight on the backwards of any large institution at this time in recent history. And this treatment would not have been acceptable without viewing those with severe disabilities as subhuman. Moral Viewpoint John Calvin, 1509 to 1564, preached the notion of predestination, stating that God has already chosen who will and who will not be saved. Calvin's doctrine implied that people with disabilities were not among the chosen. Medical Viewpoint Living conditions for persons with disabilities were brutal during this period. Intolerance, sickness, and disregard for persons with disabilities meant death, or at most, a very low quality of life. Diseases such as cholera, typhus, and the plague bacillus, along with malnutrition, accounted for a large percentage of postnatal disabilities. Connection to different time in history. Malnutrition, a principal cause of disabilities, is still responsible for one in five disabilities worldwide. Moral Viewpoint, the Moral Model Disability is either a sin on the part of persons with disabilities or their families, or an act of God for some divine purpose. In the first case, people are often punished and excluded from society. In the second case, they are viewed as divine and considered holy, perceived as sinners or saints. Persons with disabilities were usually kept separate from mainstream society. Their disability was thought to serve some divine purpose and was believed to be permanent and unchanging. Moral Viewpoint The Roman Catholic Church provided refuge to those in need, establishing orphanages, hospitals, and homes for the blind and the aged. Conditions at such institutions were custodial at best, and most children did not survive. Persons with developmental disabilities, together with those with mental illness, who could not stay with their families were often placed in monasteries, charitable facilities, hospitals, prisons, almshouses, pest houses, workhouses, or leper colonies. While there are a few good examples of residential care in the Middle Ages, most persons with developmental disabilities received basic care and shelter or no services at all. Moral Viewpoint Mendicants, people who survived by begging, were common during this time, as pictured in the painting The Beggars by Peter Bruegel, 1568. Moral Viewpoint 
One event that had a profound effect on how people perceived disability was the Protestant Reformation, which began in 1517 as an attempt to reform the Roman Catholic Church and ended with the establishment of independent Protestant churches. During this period, we see persons with developmental disabilities treated as subhuman organisms. Martin Luther, 1483 to 1546, denounced children and adults with mental retardation as, quote, filled with Satan, end quote. Luther advised that children with severe mental retardation should be drowned because they are, quote, a mass of flesh with no soul, for it is the devil's power that he corrupts people who have reason and souls when he possesses them. The devil sits in such changelings where their souls should have been. Moral viewpoint. As the authority of the Roman Catholic Church diminished, Many of the charitable services it provided ceased to exist. The, quote, poor and misfortunate, end quote, without the refuge of church became increasingly homeless in the growing cities. In the city of Paris during the early 1500s, approximately one-third of the population resorted to begging as a means of survival. Responses to Disability Exile Refuge in leper colonies or church shelters. Stereotype. Persons with disabilities as subhuman organisms, as animal-like or vegetative, not deserving of all human rights, often referred to as so-called human beings.